outside, super, super, super beautiful. Well, beautiful. Let's say too smart, but I mean, still very, very good. I look quite good today. It's probably very, very, very hot. You can see downstairs um, people walking, even a, a man who's selling uh, some uh, breakfasts. So there's a lot of cars, like I told you, and um, they don't really know how to drive, so you have to be careful when crossing the street. So I feel it's gonna be a beautiful day, like... Yeah. Hi everyone, it's Audrey again. Here it's day two in Beijing. So, uh, let's do a little wrap up about yesterday, the first day in Beijing. First of all, in the morning, I wake up early because of the jet lag. So I go to the medical, medical check. So when you go to the medical check, you have to go. Um, it's a, um, a process uh, that, they, that you have to do as a foreigner to protect uh, Chinese people from getting any disease from you and protect other Chinese people, protect you to not get any disease from Chinese people. So everyone has to do it anyways. So the medical check went uh, quite special on the hospital here. Of course, you have to pay. It's not like in Canada that is free. Um, so I arrived at the hospital and uh, what is, was the biggest struggle was the fact that um, people don't really speak English. So you try your best. And so you have to, to show them and say uh, medical um, check you know for work although most people don't speak English they will try to find someone who speaks English in the hospital so what happened is that uh, they finally found someone who speaks English and her English is not as very high as other but uh, I feel it was okay to so I could understand so the medical check what they do precisely is you go out to every department they check everything what I mean by everything is literally everything. Um, they check your health, they check if you're a woman, they check your your private parts, um, they check your heartbeat, they take a blood test. Um, and um, you. what was surprising for me is the fact that I pass in front of everyone else. There was a big line and I was the first one who passed. Uh, I had this kind of private treatment because I guess because it was lost and also because it was white. So yes, if you wonder if white privilege in China is true, yes, it is quite true. Um, some part of it, uh, you have this white privilege because you're white. Um, so you pass kind of in front of everyone. You have like more more privilege on that part. Um, so yeah, so I passed in front of everyone. There was like a super big line and then just passing in front. I was like, wow, you know, I felt a little bit bad because in my country you have to wait no matter who you are, where you're from, you know. Um, so I passed everything. It took about one hour for the test, for every test. And um, when I arrived to this uh, some some doctor's place, uh, people were were watching me and even the doctor uh, will probably ask you where you're from and um, they're really interested in where you're from uh, if you're from Europe or you're from the US or you're from Canada and many people I am from Canada and many there's not, not a lot of Canadian in China there's more uh, let's say European or African or even um, uh, a lot of uh, American so uh, when I sit down he's like wow you know I love Canada <laughs> and I was like thank you um, so after my medical check I went for an interview into a school uh, it went well uh, people are really really friendly and I made my first friend so uh, how do you make I always ask myself how do you make friends in China you know, since you don't really look like like a Chinese person. So I was like, I asked my other foreign friends who are here in Beijing to to know what they did to make um, Chinese friends. And uh, they they told me, oh, you just 
talk to them and I'm like yeah but I mean like that's random you know so you meet at a job you meet everywhere so yesterday I went for an interview and I meet um, my first Chinese friend here and uh, the same day we went out so yesterday night I went out with her and um, we eat hot pots uh, she bring her boyfriend along uh, I really loved it uh, uh, amazing people very nice uh, very understanding um, and they speak English I mean that's the best thing because I couldn't communicate with them also be be very I think it depends where you're you will be living in Beijing um, I think more you get close to the center uh, the more people are used to foreigner although here in I live in Xini. Uh, Xini is quite the outskirt of Beijing. It's a little bit far from the center, and um, in Xini, people there is not that much foreigner in Xini, and there is more uh, male foreigner. So, um, and I didn't see a lot of female. <laughs> I didn't see foreigner in general. I think I think I saw two foreigner, like from now on and the rest are all Chinese so basically uh, what happened is that um, she was really happy to meet me because I was a foreigner from Canada which is always rare um, and I was a girl so she was really happy and uh, mo most people will want to um, hang out with you uh, not only because they want to learn English but they also want to learn about your country about your culture and want to become good friends and that's very nice they're I feel from now on they really are sincere and very nice um, also be be ready to be look at when I go out people there and that's normal because of course you stand out your face doesn't look like a Chinese person <laughs> obviously so uh, you will have to get used to that to be fixed because people will fix you for sure um, so don't be surprised if they fix you or if they come talk to you and say welcome to China you know white person welcome to China it happens to one of my friends they're like hey white guy welcome to China so it was really funny and you you don't you will get used to it uh, on the long run although it might make you uncomfortable as well but uh, it's quite normal you know you, you look different you look exotic in China you're exotic and um, they like the fact that they see other things. Uh, when I meet um, my friend yesterday, she told me that foreigners here are really uh, respected.